Hi, this is Brian from Machine Vision Store. Today we're in the lab to reveal the invisible. We're using a polarization camera to reveal object features that are invisible to the human eye. To do that, we're using EXO 250ZU3 5 megapixel polarization camera from SVS VizTech, a Schneider Optics APO Xenoplan lens, backlight with polarized film from LAMAC, a LAMAC PWM digital controller with bracket and power supply, the Matrox Foresight XV6 Vision Computer, and Simplimax software. What is a polarization camera? A polarization camera can sense the polarization of light. Each pixel has a polarized filter in front of it. These pixels are arranged in groups of four, two pixels wide by two pixels high. One of these four pixels has a polarized filter mounted at zero degrees of rotation. Another pixel has a filter at 45 degrees, another at 90 degrees, and one at 135 degrees. If the light entering the camera is not polarized, this camera behaves like a standard monochrome camera. However, if the light is polarized, the relative intensity of each pixel in a group can be used to calculate the polarization angle. Our Simplimax software calculates the polarization angle using the information sent from the camera. The algorithm in the software takes that information and converts it to a color image. So we're using red, green, blue, and yellow to represent the polarization angle, whereas any features on the screen that are monochromatic, grayscale, uh, indicate the presence of non-polarized light. In this case, with the polarization filter in, in front of the backlight, it's being displayed as blue. What can we use a polarization camera for? It can suppress reflections. It is used in traffic monitoring systems to eliminate reflections on windshields, enabling the cameras to photograph the driver. To reveal scratches and stains, including fingerprints on glass, to increase contrast between different materials, examples include white pills on an aluminum package and stitching on leather shoes, to reveal distortion and stress in transparent materials. Let's take a closer look at two examples. We have a clear plastic lens here, and when we put it under the polarization camera with the polarization filter behind it, we can clearly see the stress in the lens. If I press on the lens, we can see that the stress changes as well. In addition to that, we can still see flaws in the molding process from the lens, uh, from contaminants in the mold uh, when the lens was made. Next, we have some clear baggies. These are normally difficult to image, the seal quality on them. They have a self-adhesive strip on it, so I can just peel off the liner here and fold the bag over on itself to seal it. I previously sealed two baggies here. I tried to be careful with the first one, but alas, sealing bags is not what I'm really best at as Looking at the image here, the flaws in the seal, the small gaps in the seal are clearly visible. Note the excellent contrast revealed by the polarization information from the camera here between the different bands of the product with the blue strip here being the adhesive area. I have another bag here where I intentionally did a poor job sealing it and we can see what that looks like laws are, are very obvious in this image. Thank you for your interest in revealing the invisible using a polarization camera. We have additional information including related products and pricing on our website at machinevisionstore.com or just give us a call with any questions. Thank you.